Hello and welcome back. Today I am bringing you a drugstore tutorial because it's been quite a while since I did one. Um, I'm pretty happy with how this look came out. I think it's pretty cute and summery. So if you want to see how we get this glowy glam on a budget, keep watching. I'm going to use this CoverGirl primer. This is the illuminating one. Anything that says illuminating, I am sold. Oh, it does have that nice glow to it. It smells really nice as well. And it feels nice too. And just to add a little inner glow, I'm gonna take my Away We Glow Drops from NYX. This is the shade Glazed Donuts. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit to my cheeks. Blend that with a fan brush. You can use any brush to blend this with. This was just the first one I picked up. So I know this looks crazy. Just gives you that glow to your foundation then when you put it on. Okay, now I am going in with my CoverGirl foundation. I'm going to try the shade True Ivory. I'm going to highlight and conceal with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This is the shade Natural Ivory. So I'll just I'm going to highlight under my eyes. I'm just going to blend my concealer out. This is the first time I've ever used CoverGirl face products and I really like them. Well not right now, the other drugstore tutorial that I filmed that I didn't like, that was the first time I used the products. Because the concealer and the foundation are a matte finish, I'm not gonna add too much powder, but I am gonna add some powder because I'm gonna bronze with a powder, so I need this surface to be nice and smooth. I'm gonna take this powder from Revlon, it's called Photo Ready Candid Setting Powder. So I'm just gonna take a big bronzing brush like this, and I take some product on the brush, and then I get the lid, and just swirl it around and kind of mix it in. And I'm just gonna lightly dust it all over. And I'm going to go in with my Maybelline City Bronzer. This is in the shade 200. I'm just going to bronze and warm up my skin with this. It's quite pigmented as you can see. So just take a little bit at a time. When I bronze my skin, I usually like to start underneath my cheekbones. Because I like to create that shadow effect here. Just to make my cheekbones pop. I do like to have my cheekbones defined. It's just with a smaller angled brush. I'm gonna take the big powder brush that I used for the setting powder, and I'm gonna go back into the same bronzer and then warm up my skin. So I'm gonna just like focus this on like the outer parts of my skin, like around my hairline, just to warm up my skin. I'm going to take my brow cream from KISS. This is the shade Taupe. It's just like a little brow pomade. But so far I found that this is the best drugstore product color wise for my brows. Most of them are just too warm. So I'm just going to apply this with a flat brush and just fill in my brow. And just for the front of my brow then I like to just Flick up little hairs. See the color is so good. It is actually taupe. I'm just gonna use the concealer to prime my eyes. I'm gonna use the Away We Glow palette from NYX. This is the palette Hooked On Glow. I'm gonna start with this shade. I'm taking that on a fluffy brush. I am gonna work it into the crease. Ooh, this is pigmented. I feel like NYX have really upped their game in the past few years because a few years ago their eyeshadows were not good. But now they're actually pretty great. So I'm just gonna blend this out through the crease and up towards the brow bone. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out along the way. 
Next shade I'm going to take is this brown one. Let's focus this on the outer part. So I'm just pressing it on first, just to kind of get the placement of the shadow. And then any excess on the brush, just give it a wipe off. Once you have the excess wiped off, then you can go in and just soften the edges. I'm just kind of using the tip of my brush to blend that out. Now taking this creamy matte shade and I'm going to use this to do my brow bone. Now I'm taking a dense flat brush and I'm going into this peach shade. I'm going to wet my brush for this and then just pack it on the lid. So I focused this just mostly on like the inner part of the lid. So I brought it in here and I brought it up a little bit higher than my, than my crease. So you can see the shade, but I'm not going to bring it out as far as here because it's going to take away from that matte brown shade that we did. So when you get to the center, just kind of really lightly with your brush, just softly blend it. So it doesn't just like stop dead straight here. You want it to like fade into the matte shade. Take the first shade that we used. I'm gonna go right underneath my eye with this one. I always like to do my eyeshadow underneath my eye. I feel like it just like pulls the whole eye look together. So going in with the darkest brown and I'm taking this on a tiny little small shader brush. And I'm gonna go right along my top lash line just right into the lashes. I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Mascara. This is Wonderlux Volume. This is a new one, so we'll give it a go and see. It's not my favorite mascara. It doesn't add a lot of length. It adds thickness for sure but it definitely does not add any length to the lashes. And the lashes I'm using are from Kiss. These are the Pixie Lashes. I can't find any drugstore blush, so I'm gonna take a bit of the peach shade that I used on my cheeks, or that I used on my eyes, and I'm just gonna dust some on my cheeks. Now I'm taking my Born to Glow Highlight Palette from NYX. I'm gonna take this top shade here and I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this one. And I'm just gonna highlight down along my T-zone as well. I'm gonna use this highlight shade and I'm gonna use this to highlight my inner corners. For my lips, I'm taking my Maybelline Superstay liquid lipstick in the shade Self Starter. And I'm gonna do a little ombre with this lip and I'm taking the shade Poet and I'm gonna apply this in the center of the lips just to soften it. So it creates this really nice ombre effect. I love mixing my lipsticks because I find that sometimes I put a shade on it might be too dark or too red or the undertone might not be right for my skin tone or for what I like. So I always like to mix different ones and like make little custom shades that work for me. So I really like how these two colors came out. I do find these can be a little dry but put a little bit of lip balm on you're good to go. So that's it for my drugstore tutorial. I'm kind of glad that my last one didn't work out because this makeup is way nicer than the last one I filmed. So I'm pretty happy about that. I feel like all the products I use are pretty fucking great, to be honest. Who says you can't be glam on a budget? Not me. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you like this makeup look. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in my next one. Uh, not me. Why am I so weird? Oh, why is it so itchy here? Oh. Uh...
Why is my face so fucking itchy? <laughs> I'm gonna freak out. What the fuck is on my face? There's a tiny little hair on my face. Where are you, you little bitch? 